Let me refresh Facebook. We should be up though. Hello, hello, everybody, as we log in here, and I do see us, so we're good there. Let me get that muted. All right, and I see people hopping on, so welcome, welcome, everybody. We did it! Super excited about uh, tonight's information that we have uh, for you. We've got some amazing people that we're so excited to introduce you to. Um, I will let you kick it off, and we'll go. All right. Well, good evening. We are Sean and Michelle Poe uh, calling in, zooming in, Facebook living in, whatever you want to call it, in from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. And we are so insanely blessed and so fortunate to have these three beautiful people on here with us tonight. Um, my gosh, Sean and I uh, were introduced to what we're going to be talking about a little bit tonight, uh, just over seven years ago. And we were just talking a little bit before this that... Um, my, my biological father died of a heart attack at the age of 42. And when, when I was introduced to, um, you know, a little bit of what we're going to be talking about, the first thing that I heard of was that there was going to be a cardiologist um, that's going to be presenting the information. And my girlfriend, uh, Nikki Elsing, came to me and she actually worked at the heart hospital here in Sioux Falls. And she was a dietitian there. And she said, Michelle, I know you're entrepreneurial about people and health and you're just passionate about making a difference. You really need to look at what we've got here. And I was like, what in the world is Nikki coming to me for? This is really interesting. But, you know, where do we go from there? Anyway, I watched this ABC primetime investigative report that completely blew my mind. And then she shared that there was this cardiologist and then she shared um, that he was going to be there the next day. And we went to this meeting and my mouth dropped. And I said to Sean, oh, my gosh, this is a forever kind of thing. And so it's not about us tonight or our story. But I have to tell you that tonight, right before this, um, I was just sharing with them. I, I got tears in my eyes and I had chills all through my body thinking about but I this mission and this purpose of, of what we've got here, um, you know, within our company, but with the people that our company is attracting. And that's what I'm so excited about is to, you know, bring on John here and, and his special guests, because we are attracting people that truly care about the world, that really, truly care about making a difference. And um, it's just, it brings so much joy to my heart that you guys are here tonight, that you are here with our company, that you're here to go out and make a difference in this world. And you just, it's, it's just the coolest. So thank you for being here. So I think bringing, you know, just sharing with jo uh, John here first, this wonderful guy down below, I don't know if everybody sees it the same way that I am, but down below is John Brooks. John Brooks is a very special friend of ours that lives here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. And John, when did we first meet? How many years ago? Oh, it has to be about seven years. Probably about so, seven yeah. years. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, and when we first met, okay, you see John's beautiful smile on his face. So this is John. This is always John. John, how tall are you? What's that? How tall are you? I'm six foot. Okay. John's this great, you know, handsome, tall man, always has the biggest smile on his face, shakes everybody's hand, smile. How can I help you? Oh, can I drive you somewhere? Can I pick something up? John is always the first to volunteer for anything and just is a saint. And he is just a dear, dear friend. And so, John, um, I just I want to just bring you on just to say hello and introduce your friends here. Um, but I just want to tell you what a gift you are to us and everybody that knows you. And for those of you that are tuning in tonight, definitely put some hearts out there for John and also his guests. Those of you that know John really well, comment below and say the first thing that comes to your mind when you think of John. And John, because he is, he is that kind of guy. And then also let us know, please, where you're coming in from. You know, when we're on these Facebook Lives or on Zooms, we can't always tell you know, who's all out there and where they're from until we go in and look. And it's so fun to go back and see um, and then connect with you later and see how uh, uh, how we can help and, and whatnot out there. So, John, welcome tonight. I'm so excited for you. Thank you for being here. Well, thanks, Michelle and Sean. You guys uh, are such amazing leaders. And this is so exciting. To, we have some super, super guests to introduce to our entire LifeAge family and met Dr. Gandhi on, on LinkedIn. And uh, the bonus too was when I met, Do I met Dr. Gandhi, 
I, I got to meet uh, Hattel too as well. So it just double whammy. But uh, she is an amazing doctor, and uh, Michelle is going to read her CV in a minute here. But just amazing people, and you know, it's really a tribute to our company to be able to have people like this of this caliber join us, and uh, you know, with credentials like this, and and hearts bigger than that, even too. So super, super excited. Well, I know too, John, when you mentioned to me that you had reached out to her. And a couple of things that you guys were going back and forth with, you said some of the comments that came back was, wow, right? Yeah, exactly. And so, you know, like I said, you know, when you have science behind our products and, and when you have someone that, that is such a prestigious doctor, like Dr. Gandhi, who would say, wow, that just like it just speaks to a lot of us really don't really understand what we have in our hands and we have something really special here and uh to attract incredible people like like dr gandhi and hill um uh, we have something amazing so it's really really cool well i i say that all the time and it gives me chills and it, you know i always when i share with people just journeys and and you know looking at different things i'm like listen to your intuition listen to what is going on there because there, you know, from day one, I have just felt that there is something insanely special here. And, uh, and, and I say all the time too, this is so much bigger than what we can even imagine. And um, I mean, I just, every single day as more and more Sean knows, I say we are more excited today than when we first were introduced to this. Um, and so John, one more thing before we introduce your dear friends, you said that you met her or, you know, contacted her through LinkedIn. So what did you see that attracted you to want to reach out to someone um, like her? Well, when I saw Dr. Gandhi's profile, I, my mouth was on the floor. It just like, holy <laughs> look, look, at the, look at this amazing lady. Look at what she's accomplished and, and look how many people that she's helped, you know, with, with huge hearts to be able to, I mean, she has a 95% uh, rate on, on helping, you know, on that. And one of the things that, You'll, she'll read it in a second here, but no, go for it. Yeah, just just the the credentials, and she was an entrepreneur, and it just like you know, it just sounded like the Life Vantage. You know, if you could write a Life Vantage bio, you know, it's kind of right. There. <laughs> <laughs> Why would that? Would <laughs> be part of the family, and so it was very fortunate that, and and the company is majorly blessed to have these guys aboard. Yeah. And, and I guess one thing that I would like to ask before we jump in, into uh, these two is that that could be intimidating for a lot of people and they would like to contact somebody like that. But then we have uh, that chicken list that people don't want to call. So how, how did you get to the point where you were just like, I, I'm, I'm going to reach out to her. This is this is the perfect contact. Well, like I mentioned the other day that, you know, you miss 100 percent of the shots that you don't take. And, um, you know, in our industry, you know, in our, in our business, there's, uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of people out there. And a lot of times, a lot of us are kind of held back to think, you know, we kind of prejudge and we think, you know, they're probably not going to be involved or that, you know, they're, you know, they're very successful. They may not want to look at what we have. And it just means that you really should reach out and not prejudge and let every, this is a gift, you know, and Michelle, you always say that. And it's, it is so true. I mean, this is a super gift that we need to share with the world and, uh, you know, for health and wealth. And, you know, speaking of what you said, my dad had a heart attack when I was in high school oh. and he had heart issues the rest of his life. And so, you know, when I saw cardiologists, you know, it's, uh, it's amazing. We, we need those amazing cardiologists, especially with Dr. Gandhi. She is, you know, an intervent, you know, interventional cardiologist. She is, she's a, you know, with, with natural, natural means. So it's, it's, it's amazing. That's awesome. That's awesome. I love it. And let's, let's get to the two superstars here. <laughs> yes. The show, the show, it's meant to be, it's just so meant to be. So please correct me when I am not saying something exactly right, because we've got to, so you, I'm going to have you say your first name, Dr. Pratiksha. There we go. Gandhi. Um, let's see. So first degree, 
Connection for CEO IPC Health, our heart care center in the U.S. and India. Good. All right. Uh, let's see here. IPC. Okay, bear with me, everybody. I'm going to go through this because it is amazing. You want me to go through all of it. I promise. <laughs> IPC Heart Care Center, Seth GS Medical College, KEM Hospital, Seth GS Medical College, KEM Hospital, uh, goes on. Let's see. Dr. Gandhi, MD, is a global healthcare leader, serial entrepreneur, boom, preventive cardiologist, boom, author, boom, <laughs> researcher, researcher with a mission to eradicate cardiovascular disease by preventing heart attacks and reversing heart disease using non-invasive and cost-effective treatments. All right, people out there, put some hearts up and hollows and comments for that because that alone bless you. Truly, truly bless you. Um, <laughs> oh, it's just beautiful. She is India's first woman preventive cardiologist and founder of IPC, Institute of Preventive Cardiology, Founded in 1999 in Mumbai, she pioneered the concept of preventive and non-invasive cardiology for which her work was applauded by the late president, Dr. Kalam. I want to make sure I get them all right. She is awarded by the finance minister, Mr. Chidambaram. Thank you. <laughs> As the best woman entrepreneur in 2006, making her India's first woman doctor to have received this honor. Okay, everybody out there, holla, holla, holla. Let's put some, that's just amazing. Okay, uh, let's see. IPC is India's pioneering evidence-based chain of preventive cardiac care, and she is also the founder uh, member of EECP, Expert Committee in India Association with International EECP Registry in Pittsburgh in the U.S. Under her leadership, IPC centers have treated over 50,000 cases, which also involve international patients with a 95% success rate. Did you guys get that? 95% success rate. Wow. She has been a business consultant to various health uh, care startups and has a successful expanded business, and I'm sorry, and has successful expanded businesses globally, having launched new and innovative products and devices in preventive health care industry. She has worked for several international firms and has set up their distribution channels in foreign markets. She is a renowned international speaker, author, I'm sorry, an award-winning author, published thousands of articles, uh, created several healthcare shows uh, on TV and channels that have spread her mess, oh, sorry, Sean, thank you, spread her message of heart care prevention to millions of people globally. She is the CEO of her established IPC Healthcare Center in, uh, headquartered in the U.S. Her expertise and entrepreneurial uh, talent has served in the Buena Park Heart Center in California, one of the largest EEC facilities in Southern California. In 2016, I'm almost done. I'm sure we could even go longer. The International Association of Cardiologists in New York recognized her as the leading physician of the world, recently awarded with top 50 global women healthcare leader in March, 2017. Okay, what did we miss? Because I think we should just like be bowing, hugging you. I'm sure I missed something in that, in that beautiful, but oh my gosh, Bless you for being here. Bless you for all the work and the passion and the mission that you've gone, uh, has gone before you. And this isn't even on the question, but it's on my heart right now. What, um, what got you into preventive cardiology um, and the mission in India and, and whatnot? Okay. Welcome. <laughs> uh, yeah. 
uh, uh, you know, like I would start with uh, what we do a traditional namaste. So, like uh, I uh, I thank you for whatever. Uh, like you know, I mean, <laughs> you had a great introduction. You know, I never expected you know, to say so much, but I'm I'm glad that you know the audience knows, and yeah. I'm sure that uh, they would get connected with our mission and uh, what we are doing at Life Vantage. So, thank you very much for that. uh shawn and uh, michelle you have been amazing and i've been already like your big fans watching you on the youtube so me and hetel he he's going to speak a lot actually he is the energy behind what i'm doing so <laughs> <I'm just laughs> <watching. laughs> so that's my claim to fame <laughs> I, i hear you i hear you <laughs> so uh, so uh like uh, you know like generally when you do a medical college and you're a top student all of you want to go into surgery because you can make a lot of money and you know like it's a great life right but uh, i'm also a trained teacher in yoga and meditation and i believe a lot into uh, natural and holistic so though i am trained in modern medicine uh, that is allopathic medications but i saw there are a lot of uh, like you know side effects and uh, i'm sure uh, uh, all the people out here knows that the third cause of death in us is prescription medications it's crazy <laughs> okay so that's really yeah. crazy and i think we all have lots to do here for the people you know because we work so hard not to get uh, killed by medications right <laughs> so right. Uh, so for me uh, preventive medicine which is actually the neglected part of medicine which nobody wants to go to uh, it attracted me a lot because uh with all the like my surname is gandhi and actually if uh, you all know that Uh, Mahatma Gandhi was a very famous leader in India who actually taught the concept of non-violence, and in fact, we have here Martin Luther King who followed his principles. We have Nelson Mandela, so, uh, so like all the great leaders actually follow his principles because he stood for truth, you know. So I think that runs uh, in our family too because we are connected from the same uh, like you know community. So I feel that I want to stand for truth, uh, and the truth is that. the body has its own healing powers and you know like uh, with diet exercise and nutritional yeah. methods you know uh, how can you heal yourself you know so because generally people uh, take the doctor the superior doctor to be the person who has lot of money and car but actually uh, in the ancient uh, asian culture in india and china the superior doctor is the one who keeps people away from hospitals okay so i i felt that if i pray every day and i want to reach every home will i pray that oh i want to do 10 surgeries a day let people get disease and i chop them or i pray that let me do something where people don't get disease and i keep them away so yes. that's where like uh that's where i found my mission that i want to be into preventative medicine and uh, later on uh, once i did my med- uh, like post graduation in medicine uh, in preventative medicine i found that 70% of the people get heart attack as a first symptom wow wow you know, like you know it's like we are all waiting for 911 you know to call up and somebody collapsing right and and the fact is that 80% of heart attacks are preventable wow and what are we doing you know like we are staying in a developed society and you know like we are losing people left right and center so that's how i got into preventive cardiology and uh, started my work over there Uh, helping people you know and uh, as uh, hetel said that four years back i decided to uh, move to us to take the mission globally and we are so fortunate and blessed to come across this opportunity which i'll be discussing because we see this as a great tool uh, into what we are doing <laughs> wow that's awesome that's awesome yes. and you know j- j- just even this uh, message on facebook i think it is going to impact so many people uh giving them education right yes. giving them information uh people don't want to live unhealthy but sometimes it's a challenge knowing just what what to even start with where to even begin and um i can tell you right now we have a couple hundred people that are watching this live uh by the end of this we'll have a thousand plus that have viewed it um and over the next couple of days in the next couple of weeks this will reach over 10,000 people i promise you that so uh, your <laughs> message and your your willingness to share your story and your journey is is incredible and yes. and that's the mission i think all of us are on is how do we help people right. and and we do it in a lot of different aspects and a lot of different ways but that's ultimately the goal and the mission that that 
uh, we're all in is, is helping, helping people be better, live better, um, and just leave the world a better place, right? So we're, we're so grateful that you guys are taking time to do this. Um, I know that John contacted you uh, initially off of um, social media, uh, LinkedIn. Yeah. Um, when, when John first contacted you, what made you curious to learn more about uh, the company and the products? <laughs> John actually uh, is a very smart and very professional. I would say that uh, he first sent me a LinkedIn invite. So like when I looked at his profile, like he's into this uh, uh, like newspaper and, you know, like advertising. So actually I've always since because my mission is in preventive cardiology, I've always been in tune with uh, all the people who are in the media, you know, so, <laughs> so there you so go. I like actually it. knowing what is coming in, you know, yes. <laughs> so I, I just accepted his invita- invitation and boom, all the message and back and forth, everything started, you know, he said, hi doc, you know, I like your background and, you know, we are having an amazing uh, medical technology breakthrough. So obviously like, you know, because I'm, I'm super crazy. I always look out for new stuff and because I, I've been uh, like, you know, doing a lot of research on all the new devices or the products which come in. So I'm always looking out for something, you know, and I think it was like the right time, right catch, you know, so, yes. <laughs> so he started like uh, sending in uh, me the details, but uh, like I, I, I told uh, Hetal also about it that, you know, something is coming up. Uh, but I didn't find time because next day I was traveling to India uh, because I, I go there. So I was not able to find time. Uh, but I shared uh, with Hetal that, you know, we need to look into this. And I, I was in communication with him because I found him very, very polite. Uh, what, I, what I like about John is that, you know, the way the opportunity was presented it was very subtle, uh, not being pushy. Yes. And he is amazing the way, like, you know, he was putting in the information and then he will put little sorry, I'm giving too much information. I said, no, I, I, I like it because, because, you know, uh, I'm like very hungry for, you know, the more data I get, you know, it helps me to decide. But then, you know, like after four or five days, he was very smart. He immediately put in Dr. Mark Gordon, you know. Yes. So there comes yeah, another cardiologist. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. So there, there comes a hero, you know. So when I, when I saw that uh, a credible cardiologist, an interventional cardiologist who should be in the cath lab and uh, busy making money doing angioplasties, you know, what is he doing here? You know, that, <laughs> that, actually, <laughs> that, actually, <laughs> that actually raised uh, like, you know, the alarm bells for me, you know, that something is, crazy about this company you know which i should really look into so uh, <laughs> though, like my my schedules in mumbai are pretty hectic and I, I see almost 80 cases a day like but still we were communicating i went through it and we started i think got on to a zoom meeting with uh, dr gordon uh, which was mind blowing and we all felt that you know it was like literally a divine connection that we were meant to be wow. uh, and uh, yeah and then the story goes on and you know we had Amazing Carrie Dickey come in <laughs> and uh, we spoke to Maria, Carrie, uh, we spoke to Stu. I think John did an amazing, you know, work of systematically, you know, putting up everyone, the, all the amazing leaders and uh, Hetal uh, also like, uh, because I don't do anything without, you know, letting like, you know, we work together. So he uh, got absolutely amazed by the business part of it because yeah. I'm more on the crazy science side, you know, I don't really care about the other things, yeah. but I think he keeps the, he keeps the kitchen running and the house going, you know, so yes. just by science, you can't, so, so he supported a lot and we are on. I love it. I love it. And, you know, you guys make such a great team with his experience uh, prior and just his business knowledge and stuff. So, uh, Hetal, what, with your prior experience in network marketing, what sorts of questions uh, were you looking to get answered to know if this was a good fit for uh, for the two of you? Well, uh, for me, it was, uh, you know, like I've, I've always had this in my mind that, uh, you know, like the business can be great, but if the people are not good, then you don't want, then you don't want to be uh, doing something with that. Uh, and the flip side is that like uh, the business could be bad, but, the, but if the people are great, even then it's not going to work. Right. So for me, I was looking at, uh, you know, the products was one thing, but also how are the people? And as John wonderfully put us in touch with one after the other people who have been successful with the business and Amazing. people who have been, uh, uh, you know, like students of this for many, many um, years and have done wonderful 
uh, work with it, my curiosity kind of got more satisfied as I talked to them, as I uh, learned from them. And, uh, you know, having seen so many different kinds of businesses in the last uh, 20 plus years, uh, for, for me, it was like, you know, here's something that people can get involved in without understanding the science behind it, right. simply because the products work. Right. That was it for me. The products work. And I could see the belief in people when we did a lot of Zoom sessions with people that, uh, you know, they spoke about their own kids having undergone certain kind of ailments and how the products like benefited them. And then on top of that, of course, being uh, married to such a wonderful person who has dedicated her life to curing heart disease. Uh, when she said that oxidative, because she has been like a proponent of oxidative stress right from the last 20 years. Wow. And this is the first time that we found a product that could actually do something about it. Yeah, that and there's nothing in the market that exists, period. That's so crazy. when I saw all of this, you know, like this whole package came together. And I said, you know what, hey, great business, great product, great people, and anybody can do it. It, yeah. Doesn't, yeah. it doesn't have to be, uh, you know, I'm like a rocket scientist to figure this out. Anybody with a dream or passion, a desire and intensity that they want to make a difference, not only in their lives, but other people's lives. And I'm not just looking for money. Right. right. I'm looking to seriously go out there and do something that can impact more people. And I said, this is the right business to do. Mm. And I was sold. It, it, just, it just took me like maybe half an hour to get sold on it. Yes. Oh, I, I totally believe it. I'll never forget, you know, when we were introduced, because we had never done a business like this before. And so we were introduced and, you know, I was trying to do everything I could to just put the product. I was reaching out to different scientists that didn't know me, but I knew their products and how good they were. And like, try to disprove and they were like, Ooh, let me get in touch with the creator. I'm like, okay, I'll figure it out. I don't know how, but you know, and going through that journey and then realizing, like you said, that this is for real. I remember Sean and I going and being like, okay, I'm trying to disprove this. And Harvard validated it. The American Heart Association's validated it. You know, the National Institute of Health and Aging has validated it. I don't know what I'm trying to do, but it was my journey. But then when we did meet the people, like you said, um, I mean, we were just wowed by, I mean, the only person that we knew was my girlfriend that introduced me. So we had a similar experience of meeting different people. Carrie and Maria were actually at our very first meeting here in Sioux Falls and Dr. Mark Gordon, actually Carrie Dickey was as well. And so we got a taste of those people. And I just remember thinking the whole time, I'm like, everything just sounds too good to be true. Yeah. Like every single thing, like, where is, where is the wrong in this? Because it's like, it, everything seemed too great. And I just kept hearing them saying, it's just, it's like, it's a perfect storm. I'm like, well, and I'm telling you today it is. And the people are that exactly what you're saying. So it's just so cool to hear that from you. And, and one of the things that John shared with me was when he reached out to you, Dr. Gandhi was that he said, um, correct me if I'm wrong, John, something about, you know, this is the only, you know, natural you know, brand a product on the planet or that whatever that lowers oxidative stress by an average of 40% in 30 days. Yep. Is that what you had said to her, John? And she said, wow. Yeah, yep. because uh, the thing is that uh, like I have been talking about free radicals and oxidative stress almost since 20 years because being a preventive cardiologist, you're always, you know, focused on going to the root cause. Yes. And uh, in fact, in, in, in yesterday, I was talking to Dr. Mark Gordon that we should be doing a research that if we can reverse the blockage, yep. you know, and uh, you know, health, it would be a great breakthrough, you know, in medicine. So, uh, so uh, like, but, you know, like, yeah, we all know that th there is some diet exercise, but we don't have anything like a proof of concept that with any particular product, you know, and uh, that is where I saw the studies uh, with Protein and it just blew me off, you know, because uh, like PubMed is a very reliable and credible source. And yes. uh, my research is also on PubMed my my research paper my original research work and i know how much it takes to you know like it is just like eight pages but it took me almost three four years and it it, it goes back and forth with the reviewers you know like the peers and also i know that uh, what it takes to for a research to come on pubmed you know it's not easy right. so that uh, that really excited me that because no supplements has got this kind of research you know you generally come across all these commercials yeah. or 
uh, telemarketing or you know like we have these ads on tv they are, you know they make a lot of claims but uh, <laughs> there is there is no evidence you know so so what i what i found credible about uh, this amazing company is that uh, it is like uh, having a lot of uh, like uh, you know credibility and i could really identify with dr mccord because he is like you know like is really a guru i would say i mean the kind of research which he has done with sod and discovering and all that stuff when i went through it just blew my mind because uh, i don't think so that any uh, like direct selling or network you know people are having this kind of amazing science and all this kind of thing but you know i frankly speaking i being a doctor you know we are always made to think conservatively so um i was anti uh, network marketing you can say <laughs> because <laughs> because if something doesn't fit into our psychology i'm sorry to say that folks but no we felt the same but thanks to hetal because uh, the way he uh, he you can say he's a software engineer so he really programmed me well <laughs> he, he deleted my all bad files and corrupt data and reprogrammed me <laughs> uh, download a new I download read, yeah reach that i read reach that poor dad the cash flow quadrant uh, networking in the 21st century so he is a master programmer you know we have right. on board so like then i like you know from anti uh, this you know uh, networking i became absolutely a proponent i said if if this is a great product i don't care how the company manages i am in it whether it is going to be anything whether it is retail or this because i am here for science and anything right. which helps people and helps with our mission to help people i yes. am in and i don't i don't bother about the stigma which is associated with all that there yeah. are always going to be negative people I, i i really don't care what we care is that we are reaching out to people and making a difference you know yeah Amen. absolutely that's Amen. that's what uh, made us you know to take this decision i love it and, and what what we came to yes. found cuz we we were skeptical as well when we first came in like michelle said but we were we were open minded enough to see what it what it truly was and I, i'm telling you when when this business model when this profession's done right with the right people and the right products it is amazing it's one of the best ways to do business out there because it can impact yeah. so many people and it has such a level playing field for anybody that wants to get involved Yes. and that is very very rare in business uh usually there's you know either huge financial commitments to get a business up and running or you know you have to have uh, certain credentials or background or experience um i i just love the flattening of the playing field that that this type of format provides for everybody yeah. um and and it's all now your background she just said software engineer <laughs> And, you know, with, with big firms on wall street for many years, um, you, you've also got a very, very, uh, expansive uh, set of credentials as well. Um, how do you see all of this then, uh, fitting in with these class creating products and, and combining it with network marketing being kind of that perfect storm for you? uh well that's a great uh, i would say question that you asked me uh let me put it this way i mean i've been 22 years i, I mean i've worked 22 years on wall street uh so by no means i mean maybe i look young but i've seen <laughs> a lot of stuff <laughs> <laughs> yeah like great so, uh, you know i still remember those days when uh, i used to uh, be at work and many times it it, it used to be working with traders and uh i don't know if anybody on here has uh, had a an exposure to that but if you haven't you don't want to do that because <laughs> these guys are completely nuts they are hyper they are um, i mean they don't speak anything but four letter words and they are not nice ones by any means <laughs> and uh you know so you go through all that and you know i I've, I've, i've probably created systems that maybe some of you may be using for trading today and i don't get paid for that Yeah. Mm. The companies that I work for make millions of dollars for the software that I wrote for them and uh they will continue using that but I don't see the benefit of that. So yeah, I may have helped other people to maybe uh you know do some nice trading but neither the person who trades nor the one who make the software is going to make anything out of it except the company that's right. yeah. giving it to other people. And that's when I realized that 
you know, I, I always wanted to make, you know, make a difference to people. Yeah. And I thought software would be the answer to maybe give, you know, the world something that they could use and uh, they could benefit by. But if I'm not able to see the benefit in it, I felt that maybe I'm in the wrong side of the business. Okay. And when uh, like network marketing came along, the first time that I got uh, exposed to it, uh, I realized that the 40 by 40 by 40 plan is not working. Mm. Because I'm going to be, uh, you know, working 40 years of my life for 40 hours a week. And then to make only 40% of what I make, because 60% goes to the, um, like the government and to the taxes that I have to pay. That didn't make sense to me. Huh? Yeah. And I still remember this, the first paycheck. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm kind of like digressing a little bit. No, it's no great. this is wonderful. Oh, yeah. I love this. The first paycheck that I got, right? And uh, I still remember this so clearly. I got this paycheck and I'm seeing this and then uh, what was promised to me and what I got was really <laughs> gross, you know? Yeah. Oh. I was like, I went to my boss and I said, uh, what happened here? You know, <laughs> familiar with all this stuff. So, you know, there was some FICA, MICA and all that kind of things yeah. on the paycheck. And I said, what's wrong here? You know, I'm missing something. So I went to him and said, I told him, listen, you promised me something, which you said is, you know, they're going to be uh, under your income. And what I got was something that I can't even fathom, you know? Yeah. So he said, well, like, like, you know, you have got this uh, sleeping partner. I said, what do you mean? I said, he said, uh, well, you've got the sleeping partner. His name is, uh, I'm like, uh, like his, uh, I'm like, name is Sam. I said, Sam, who, Sam, who? He said, I'm like, Uncle Sam. <laughs> said, really? Uncle Sam? So he said, yeah, Uncle Sam. I said, I am from India. I am uh, not a Christian. I don't know any Uncle Sam. I'm sorry. He said, no, no, no. Everybody in this country has got an Uncle Sam, whether you like it or not. And I said, okay. So I said, all right, if I, if, I, if I have to live with Uncle Sam and share what I make with him, even though I don't know who he is, then I'm going to find a system where I can beat Uncle Sam. Oh, and network marketing was the answer. Oh. So when that came along, I said, you know what? Uh, to get out of the 40 by 40 plan, the 40 by 40 by 40 plan, and I said, every day in the morning, I have to get up to go to work. I used to live in uh, 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 some Jersey, which is, again, like a cold state and uh, you know, all that. And every day in the morning, I would be like, uh, I'm like, you know, uh, on the parkway there and people would be waving at me one finger at a time. And I would be like, this is not life. Yeah. Yeah. This is definitely not life. You know? So I said, you know what, something needs to change. And like network marketing gave me that opportunity to actually create my own financial future. Wow. And it's not just that, you know, I was able to create it, but uh, I was able to learn how to work with people how to uh, like you know educate people? How to I mean you know mentor people? Yes. How to make a difference in other people's life without yeah. really looking at just the monetary benefits of everything? Absolutely. And yeah. That mindset that network marketing brought into uh, into my lifestyle was amazing because what I realized is that not only I make a difference to myself because I'm reading a lot of good books, I'm uh, associating with some great people, yeah. and uh, you know the mindset that I'm creating within me is not only going to impact my family, but it's going to impact millions of other families around me. And yeah. within a short period of time, I was able to create a, you know, like a team of some uh, 25,000 people and, you know, do all the good stuff. And then life, of course, happens like it does sometimes. Yes. And, uh, you know, I had to give that away uh, to somebody else to take care of. Uh, and they destroyed the business, of course. But, uh, <laughs> you know, what I learned was that, you know, I took away with me the success principles. And what I realized is that success principles don't change, no matter what you do. You could do a job, but if you know how to apply success principles in your day-to-day -day life, yes. you can be successful in, successful in anything you do. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter whether it's working for somebody, working for yourself, or just you know being yourself at home. Absolutely. You could have success principles work in the house, with the kids, with your wife, with everything. So it's just universal, you know? And yeah. that's what I just love about this business and this type of a business. And yeah. I think people who don't understand what network marketing is are missing out big time. Yeah. They really don't know what a great opportunity they have their hands on. And <laughs> they would just dig into it a little bit more and just see the benefits of what it can do, do to them, just to, that, just to the individual, they would be blown away. Yeah. I'm not I can promise you. And, and you talked about earlier, like the cash flow uh, quadrant, you know, uh, Robert Kiyosaki, I, I remember uh, learning about his rich dad being one of the first people to bring over franchising to Hawaii. And right. back when he did that, people did not think franchising was a legitimate way to do business. And it had a right. very 
negative connotation, uh, a stigma attached to it that wasn't good. And, and I think we're seeing the same transition happen uh, with network marketing as we did with franchising, because there isn't a business person around that's going to deny that franchising doesn't work and it's not a valid way to do business. And we're going to morph this profession, this industry uh, with people like you, with people like John, to let the world know that, again, when this is done right with the right people, it is extraordinary. Yes. It is absolutely yes. a valid way to do business. And one thing that I was surprised at with this is the personal development. I was going to say, it, while he was sharing is, that. It's unbelievable. And I never would have guessed that seven years ago when we first got started, that we would go on this huge development journey in addition yep. to the health journey and the financial journey and all of that, it just, it encompasses everything. It really does. Yeah. I mean, that was one of the, as you were sharing that and like, oh my gosh, Sean talks about that all the time, that the biggest thing that he was never expecting was the personal growth. Yeah. And you're yep. right. I mean, it literally impacts, it, it's not just business. It absolutely impacts every relationship in your life. Your, you know, your churches, your kids, your, uh, the school, I mean, everybody that you associate with because you're every day you're growing and you're learning and, and you're just on this quest to how can I become a better person? But then you meet so many people and, and you learn different things about them and you become inspired about them. Like Ooh, what makes them tick? And, and you just learn all these new different things. And it's like, holy cow, if I look back to who we were, yeah. you know, before we got started, I mean, that is a huge blessing. I mean, I know many people that have have joined you know with our company and they say i mean i think i hear it like 99.999 percent of the time well we know right we have you guys here that are validating these products <laughs> i mean that's huge and then this profession but people so 99.999 percent of the time i hear people say they're here and they stay here because of the people the people that we have attracted and this mission that we have is just so darn beautiful. Yeah. Um, and, and when you're on a quest and a, on, on a mission, you've got this whole family groove going on that just makes you unstoppable to do such great things in the world. And, and so you just always want to grow to be better. Totally agree. And, and, you know, you're bringing up missions and visions um, and, and one of your missions or visions, I guess, doctor is to eradicate card of, cardiovascular disease uh, using non-invasive uh, cost-effective treatments. We talked about that earlier. How, how do you see then adding in uh, activation of the NERF2 pathway uh, into this approach um, and helping, you know, being pro preventative and proactive uh, approaches? Yeah, that's that's really nice question, John, because, uh, Sean, sorry, uh, because uh, what, like, first thing what I like about uh, life vantage product is that uh all the ingredients are in india right yeah <laughs> yes so it was like a no-brainer for me because uh, i have worked with ashwagandha over a long period of time i have worked with uh, bakopa milk thistle so uh, in fact in our ancient indian medicine which is ayurveda we have been using this and uh, our sayings and uh, we call the the ancient scientists in indian language rishis okay so they have written the scriptures and they had actually the techniques for extending life. Oh, and wow. they used to live for 100, 150 years and all. Okay. And they used to use a lot of herbs. So actually when now I'm happy that at least the Western world is listening to this and there's a wake up call and there is uh -huh. a lot of science coming in, uh, validating it with all the before and after studies and everything. So uh, what I like about uh, what Life Vantage is doing is that at least, you know, it brought the credibility to this whole thing by making a scientific study so that, you know, we can tell the whole world about it. You know? Yeah. So, uh, so though we have those ingredients, so like uh, for us, the morning ritual is we have a, uh, we use the turmeric in our spices in food and we also like we have with warm water in the morning. So like when, when John sent us all these things, it was not a surprise because we know the benefits, right? Yeah. But what struck me was that when all these components are brought together through the proprietary blend, it becomes 18 times more powerful. That is protandum. Yes. So that was something which blew me off. And I decided that uh, amazing, you know, this is what it is. So 
I have seen that a lot of people say, "Oh, it is turmeric. It could be one dollar, two dollar, and this is another." I, I, I went through. You know, like all of us are skeptics somewhere that devils advocate. So we go through this uh, websites and you know reviews and whether it is scam and so like I also did little my of my advocate studies and I was going through that and I'm talking because you know there are a lot of people and they will be facing a lot of objections. You know, from the people right. who are coming in. So like, uh, so what I saw was that. for any product you know uh, like for, first and foremost whatever at 40 50 dollars what we are selling is really really affordable it is not something that is cost effective because the first thing when i uh, uh, like you know work with any product is always i see whether it is cost effective and second thing is it has got mass application yeah. so so i think that uh, what protendim definitely is a uh, very very cost effective i mean come on we just go out for a family dinner and we spend 40 bucks right yes uh, to put in to put in lot of trash and create free radicals and increase oxidative stress <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. so right with all those stuff so it's not we are asking much and people should understand and value the efforts and the time which is put in the science part come on a uh, A, a scientist like Dr. McCord has spent forty years of his life, I mean, into this. And you know, I think if we are cribbing about forty dollars, we really don't know to value science. You know, that's how I put these yeah. things across. So I would say that uh, protendim is something which is very powerful, which I would like to use as a first line of defense for all the people who might come across who uh, want to prevent heart disease and cancer, because the the science is out there. and uh, i have seen that even people go on diets they exercise but you know like uh, still everything is not right because uh, what nutrigenomics and what this latest science has come in of activating our own uh, body genes and all the nrf2 activation technology is amazing and i would say it is really a breakthrough in medicine for the century and uh, we are all blessed at the right time with the right people as you all said that we have got lovely people like you know yeah. my hearts go out to all of you because you know i when i started uh, 15 years back saying people that uh, you can avoid open heart surgeries everybody was calling me mad all yeah. doctors were opposing me uh, they were thinking that i've gone crazy uh, when i started with the ecp technology now everybody is copying me no. yes <laughs> yeah they're all copying me but i don't get any benefit out of yeah. all the pioneering <laughs> work i have done you know yeah <laughs> so i think uh, with protendim we have a great business opportunity that we are really putting in that uh, hard work to convince people to talk to people we are talking about the science and this company has made a beautiful plan to reward us for our hard work you know right. and yes. that really uh, got me excited into this uh, whole business that uh, i would say it is money with blessings <laughs> yes Yes. Absolutely. That's I mean that's yes. I always say I mean you can do so much and give so much and make a, you know even a bigger difference. There's never been I mean we built our house 11 years ago, 11 12 years ago and we're still in the same house. You know, we're it's, it's we're not our company none of us are about that. In fact, we talk all the time about how can we lower people's debts? How can we get them debt free, you know, and those types of things. And I don't know if you guys caught it, but she may or may not have said this could potentially be the breakthrough of the century. Mike drop. But with that being said, we can't say that you yeah, know this cures treats prevents or mitigates anything, but yes. we do know that oxidative stress. If you're not sure what oxidative stress is, go out and check out what that is. And when you understand that you can lower that by an average of 40% in 30 days and That's, you know get your yeah, your body flowing again and and there's, get there's nothing else <laughs> on the planet that does that. Right. And, You know, I, I loved where you brought up the fact that India has been using these ingredients for hundreds of years. Yes. This isn't new science. What What's special about it is that recipe and that synergistic effect where you said it up or it increases it by 18 fold. Yep. That's crazy because these on their own are amazing, amazing ingredients. Yes. But when you increase it with that synergistic effect, that's the miracle because then it unlocks the body's own potential to do what it was designed to do, right? Yes. And, and so, so let's dream about the future here for a second. Okay. Uh, we talked about yeah, India. Like we talked about them knowing about these ingredients and stuff. Uh, we're a $200 billion startup company. We're still a young pioneering company. What's going to happen when this goes globally and a country like India with a billion people 
who know what these ingredients are have access to it? I think maybe, I say, yeah. <laughs> maybe, I, yeah. I think I think we'll do two fifty million a day. Wow. Say that one more time. We'll do two fifty million a day. Because That's crazy. Uh, the potential of what we have our hands on, and I'm non-clinical, but you know, uh, just the fact that we have a uh, we have a hose to douse the fire that's inside of us rather than a yes. bottle and keep doing that with all the antioxidant products out there. I believe that if we just turn on the hose in the right uh, place with, yeah. with the right people, this can just go viral in seconds. Yes. 100%. And, yeah. And I mean, I think uh, uh, like doctor uh, will vouch for that because she's seen so much uh, that she has gone through in terms of like products and all devices and all that kind of good stuff to help people. But uh, this product is so simple and so easy to uh, make like available to everybody. Yeah. You know, they don't have to go to hospital. They don't have to go to a doctor. They don't have to get a prescription. None of that. It's so simple. It's just going online and ordering it. Yeah. I mean, what, uh, could, I, what could be easier? I'm, I'm sorry. I think Darren Jensen stole, will have to yeah. start worrying about the production. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Because once it turns on, because the Asian place. culture supports a lot, the natural, so the concept is not foreign, unlike the West. So, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, only thing is that India is a little price sensitive market, so I'm sure we right. have to do good homework before we go. But, uh, yeah. but ne networking is a is something which uh, catches on with the Indian community very well, yeah. So, that's 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 a good good thing. So we 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 expect something like a huge explosion. I just want to add something because I believe that whatever achievements we have, it's all with the blessing of God. And I, as a physician, always consider myself as a instrument in the hands of God because generally, what happens that if you look at the medical culture, whenever the operation is successful, then the surgeon feels I did it. But somebody dies on table. Oh, it was God's wish, <laughs> you know. So I, I, I never understand this. Uh, why there is a duality, you know, that when the, when it is successful, then it is a surgeon. When it, when somebody dies, it is God's wish, right? So, end of the day, uh, my yoga and meditation has kept me very humble and grounded. And I feel that whatever we do is, uh, you know, like we are we are just instruments in the hands of God. So I, mm -hmm. I consider a life vantage and our entire wonderful family that, you know, whatever we are doing, we are like the angels, you know, God has sent us with a lot of positivity to help people around us. So don't get, uh, don't feel down or don't feel like if you get rejection or criticism or skeptics, you know, just don't feel anything about it. Just mm -hmm. let it go because, yes. yeah, because people who want to catch on you will catch on you. People who don't want will not want. And, uh, Second thing was that before John sent me the uh, message, I mean, Hethel can vouch uh, yeah. for that. <laughs> Somewhere in mid-Feb, I was feeling suddenly very happy, okay? And I, I was like from last year trying to get some new because I am like that scientist looking out for something new, right? Every two, three years, I'm launching something new. <laughs> but from last few months, I was not getting anything, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so... I was a little frustrated because I want something new to launch through IPC and I was not getting it. So, and suddenly in Feb, mid, I started feeling so calm as if my answers, my, my prayers are answered. And I said, you know, I don't know, Hethal. Uh, I'm feeling so good, so nice. Something great is coming in, which is going to change our life this year. I just don't know what it is, but I'm feeling great. You know? <laughs> so, I would say that, that's why I said that this is this is divine intervention because uh, because when John's message came in and I started going through the studies and everything, then you know we just had to like you know seal it that yes, this is that breakthrough which we are looking for. And after we met all the amazing leaders uh, in this company, we we just are so convinced, you know, and full of that faith and belief that we are with the right company, right set of people and we really, really thank you for opening your hearts and giving us a huge welcome and, you know, like uh, making us feel like a family, you know, so we really, really thank you for that. Uh, you, oh. guys, you guys rock. <laughs> How about those, those of message. you that are listening to this or watching oh. the replay, uh, put in the comments, you know, what, what listening to this has done and, and inspired you or impacted you. 
um, and and if we should do more of this. Uh, mm -hmm. um, I'd like to add one thing. I just said I have, have a few minutes. Yeah, I would like to add. I would just like to add one thing. Uh, in the beginning, uh, you did ask uh, John that how did he get the nerve to uh, like reach out to us. Yeah. And I actually want to tell everybody that, uh, you know, it's those people that are uh, just like you, meaning that people who are at the same, uh, uh, I would say, you know, uh, this economic level that you are at or the circles that you go around with are the ones who may criticize you the most. Yeah. The, the people that intimidate you are the ones that you should really be talking to. Because somebody who's successful in life, be it jobs, be it businesses, or be it just, you know, having some uh, idea about success, they will never criticize something good that comes along. Right. They will always welcome it and they will actually thank you yes. in fact, for having and shown them the John. opportunity. Really and thank John. You know, so, so, God said, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so don't, don't be intimidated by somebody's profession or by somebody's background because at the end of the day, we are just as human as everybody else. We have the same things. We wake up in the morning, we brush our teeth, uh, we go to the bathroom, we use toilet paper and whatever else. And, yep. you know, we're just like everybody else, you know? So there's the only difference is that we are I'm like ordinary people with extraordinary dreams. Mm. And if you can be an ordinary person with extraordinary dreams and an extraordinary desire for success, anything is possible. So wow. don't be intimidated by anybody mm. because there are people just like us, millions of them who are looking for an opportunity and you may be the only answer mm. to have spoken to them about it. Mm. I love it. I just want to add. You gave me tears. <laughs> It's just so beautiful. <laughs> so, so, it's true. It's yeah, true. it, it, it so absolutely true. is. And um, I can't believe that we've been on this for an hour now. That, oh my <laughs> that, God. Oh that my flew God. by. Um, but I, I've had an amazing time doing this. And, and I think, you know, if you guys are up for it, uh, I think we should do more of these where, you know, we can uh, pick each other's brains on the business and on the science and really educate as many people as we possibly can. Because uh, that that is the mission of all of us. Again, I, I really want to reiterate that. That's that's why right. we work as hard as we do. Yes. That's why we continue to. And it's not the 40, 40, 40 hour. I don't think that that you used to work. It was probably 40, 80, 40 is what that dream was. Right. Yeah. And 80 absolutely. hours a week is, is what you know, uh, people are, are doing out there and yeah, dumpling it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and when people truly understand, uh, the components of what, what is so special and so unique about, uh, what we're so excited about, I, I it, to me, it's just a no brainer that when they've opened up their mind and their heart to hear, to truly hear the message, uh, that, that they're going to integrate it in some capacity into their life. And that looks different for everybody, but um, I, I just, I know that we're on the tip of the iceberg. Uh, we're just at the very, very beginning of what this is going to do and, and how many people we're going to impact. And uh, it's been amazing, amazing getting to know you and spending this time together with you guys. I, I can't wait to watch you fly through the ranks of the company and bless tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands of people along the way. Yes, yes. And thank you, know, you for that. Thank you. Thank you so much. It was just so fun, you know, when John and I were first talking and we were talked about this, it was immediately just like, oh, how, you know, we can just help so many more people by doing this. And that's, you know, what I want everybody to know out there was, is if everybody could just hear the heart. So, you know, the pre-conversation before this and what led up to this and whatnot, it's just the coolest thing. And I'm, I'm sure those of you that are watching have, have captured that feeling just in this tonight but um, it's just so cool. And John, is there anything, um, any last words for the three of you before <laughs> we get off and let you get back to your beautiful lives? I just think it's amazing uh, to, to welcome these incredible people and with huge hearts, like I mentioned earlier. And, you know, to have a, a company with products that, that, uh, that, you know, famous doctors look at and say, wow, you know, I mean, that, that is amazing. Wow. Welcome, Dr. Gandhi and Cal. Thank you. Thank you, John. Thank you for everything. <laughs> yes, and any final last words from you guys, and then we'll head out. <laughs> sure. I just, I just want to say, uh, really, thank you to you guys for uh, welcoming us. Uh, and uh, you know, uh, it's, it's just wonderful that we that we met John the way we did. And definitely, there was some uh, divine uh, plan in that. And I, and I do believe that uh, just the fact that you guys are making us feel so special and so welcome 
Uh, I know this business is going to do wonders, not just for us, but the people that uh, come uh, like, you know, across us uh, in the next few months and years to follow. And we're just very, very grateful that, uh, and you know, very thankful that you guys thought about us and put us on this, uh, with you on this uh, uh, Facebook Live. And uh, that we could, you know, share some 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 of our thoughts, some of uh, the some of the things that are, uh, I mean, like, uh, I mean, like, you know, dear to us, of what we and of what we saw in the business. And I can't wait to see what's there to come because if this is the beginning, oh my gosh, I am so <laughs> fired up about what's to come. I and I can't it. wait to do more of these with you guys as well to pick your brains uh, because you guys have a humongous business. Uh, I know you've poured your heart out to so many people, and uh, people love you, love your videos just like we did when we saw them the first time. And, uh, you know, just want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts for uh, making, having us on, on the show. Yeah, uh, and I just want to tell all the people, uh, thanks for your time and listening to us. And a very, very important message is that believe in yourself. Yes. That's most important. Don't go by what people say. And another important thing which I want to share is that you know, your power of thought and your power of intention is so important. So whenever you are giving out pretending to anyone, just pray, just hope that great things will happen to them. Because, you know, it's like we are, the, as I told you, that we are the mediums. We are instruments in the hands of God. And when we, it's not, I mean, I, for me, I always believe that there is money for your need and not your greed, you know. So whatever money happens as a secondary byproduct of what the good work you do, the good karma you do. So I feel that it is really a good deed that we go out and reach out to maximum people, talk to them about the science, go with a clean and pure heart to help them. And I'm sure they will be benefited, you know, period. So just go with that belief and pour your heart out and just leave the rest to God. We all will do great. We are a great family. You know? I love Amen. it. Amen. I don't know if you guys can see Facebook or not, but it has been a constant stream of hearts and thumbs up for 60 straight minutes. It's just, it rolls and rolls and rolls. People are just loving this. And uh, we appreciate the time that you took tonight um, and, and just, you know, coming into the Life Vantage family. Uh, we, we want you to know that, uh, Again, this is just the beginning, and we're excited to be on this journey with you. John Brooks, man, you rock. Your, <laughs> yes, John. your love for people yeah. and doing the right thing uh, <laughs> before anything else is, is, is going to bless you beyond uh, your wildest expectations. And I can't wait to travel the world with you guys. Yes. Uh, and I, I just be a blast. I love yes. living life with you. Yes. Yes. Thank you. This is joy. This is joy. This is joy. People know that I'm a crazy, passionate person, but this is why I'm crazy passionate. <laughs> because what we've got with this science and the people and just the pure lately, it's been, I've been, I'm doing like my little hashtag and stuff. I'll do it like, and they just come to me, but it's just been love mission, right? It's just the love mission. And and we are here to just make the world a better place as a whole. So God bless you guys. Thank you for Thank taking you. the time. Thank, Thank you guys for all joining tonight. Um, share this, you know, share it with your friends, your family, different groups, however you feel that it can bless. Everything that you guys said was just so beautiful. And we always do say, you know, how can we bless, you know, God, give us, Give us who we need to be talking to today. How can we bless the person that is speaking in before us? So thank you so much. Um, I can't wait to hug you in person. Um, <laughs> the most you want. I know, right? Here we go. <laughs> All right. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bless thank you, guys. Thank Take you. Care. Cheers. Namaste. Good night. Namaste. <laughs>